So if you ask me, hey, nobody asked you, <laughs> if you ask me, I think they, and by they I mean those that stir the drink, so to speak, they're getting ready for an endgame. And I know that's what I was sort of hinting at in my last video. Uh, some might say they're just maneuvering the pieces on the board, but personally I think the fix is in. And what I mean by that is I think certain key elements have already been contrived, so the outcomes getting ready to debut just aren't going to go the distance for the people. Yeah, except for maybe those who are already in power. Uh, I'm not saying our situation is hopeless, because things don't always go swimmingly for the orchestrators. Occasionally, they do have to course correct, and a big part of that is based on us, the citizen. I think that it's safe to say enough people now have realized something isn't right with the American situation. But it seems the momentum for whatever it is people get behind is sometimes either usurped or misdirected altogether. All right? But even given that, when they do have to course correct, whether it's because certain information is making it difficult for them to achieve a particular initiative, or whatever it may be, really, I see that as a win. I, I see it as a win. And it's important to look at that because we need to see how we can actually move the dial every once in a while in our favor. I mean, how, how tough is the system fighting to force an injection on us since inch by inch less people are buying into that crap, right? How hard are the media platforms trying to censor alternative information? So we know in these ways and others, they're having a clamor, which tells us we're being effective, uh, that we're reaching folks, but we just need more engagement. I, I really think that's what it is. It's like if you zoom out and look at what's happening on the geopolitical level, then zoom in on the individual nation level, the state level, virtually all across the board, there's this unrest and angst trending upward. Okay, it's almost as if sustained instability in some areas is the new norm. You know, basically, there's a lot of chaos to be brought to order. And, you know, that, my friends, I really think is part of the end game. You know, it won't be at the snap of a finger now necessarily with a blatant catharsis, but I think things like calling the population and another paradigm shift, so to speak, are coming down the pipeline. You know, even the Bible says, had those days not been shortened, no flesh would be saved, and I think we're getting ready to enter uh, revelation scenarios. Okay, it might be hard to see if you're just strolling in from mainstream media land, or maybe you've been grazing in some other pasture, but like I said, the fix is in. You know, there's got to be more people inoculating themselves with information, not these damn chemical cocktails, to be able to mitigate some of the fallout. You know, and that's one of my frustrations. I, I don't know who to be more frustrated with, actually. You know, the Joker's trying to pull this over on us, or the clowns that are letting them get away with it. You know, I, I think it depends on the day and the mood, really, um, because some of it's, it's just incredible. You know, throughout the years of Bush, Obama, now Trump, we've seen torture chambers, uh, excuse me, enhanced interrogation rooms, right, all this new speak. We've seen FEMA camps, they're a reality, right, people lined up for them after Katrina and Harvey. Gun control is always trendy. So you gotta wonder if what's initially set up uh, against terrorists or for our safety is ultimately meant to be converted against us sometime in the future. And, you know, you can click your teeth, you know, all you want at that idea, but we've seen vestiges of that with Rex 84 and other declassified government documents. I mean, these governments basically have contingency plans for the continuity of government in the event of, you know, fill in the blank. The thing is, is, is what the evidence suggests and the facts totally support is that there are concerted efforts by factions of low people in high places angling for as much power, money, and control as possible, you know, so they'll be on top when they decide to stack the next deck. Okay. A matter of fact, if you want to get an idea of what's you know all tied into the in-game scenarios, you really needn't look any further than the Illuminati card game. I mean, they tell you straight up. That's what these these movies, television shows, they put truth disguised as fictitious entertainment. It's it's soft disclosure. In a lot of ways, it's it's telling you what's coming, or at least uh, the trajectory we're on. It, it's pretty suspicious. It's almost like these writers and directors and and people like they they know something that we don't, or or they're more keen on something that we aren't. I think in that way, you know, information is leveraged to coax uh, paradigms. And given the next few years, we're going to find ourselves on the other side of the hill. All right. And we've talked about certain scenarios before, and we'll flesh this one out here again, because you've got to imagine if uh, military research and development, if the technology there is, you know, 10 years beyond anything you're going to pick up at your local Best Buy, then you've got to imagine if the lifelike realistic holograms we've seen of, you know, Tupac and Celine Dion and Elvis, uh, what better stuff might be tucked away somewhere? You know, that's something we got to think about there. And let's just say for the sake of argument, advanced holographic technology is used to project images of, you know, UFOs over some American cities. I mean, with the with the media control, uh, they would manipulate the discourse and, you know, suddenly a new paradigm shift emerges. And, and, and that's just one scenario. Uh, what about in a, a zealously religious you know country? I don't know, somewhere in the Middle East or something like that. Uh, they see a projection of their associated Messiah figure. So you can see how this stuff 
could potentially cause a wrinkle, right? And it, honestly, it's not like we need anything that novel. There's false impetus all the time, and we we could just another 9/11 or Gulf of Tonkin. I mean, they lied to us about everything. Watergate, Vietnam, uh, <laughs> whatever it is to sort of put us on their trajectory and catapult us closer to to wherever us to, you know wherever they'd like us to be. And that's what I mean by the fix is in. It's, it's, it's up to us to continue to sort of push the envelope so, you know, we can push back against these power pyramid jokers. Uh, otherwise, you know, why, 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 not, why not just sit back and watch the show? But we've seen how we've moved the dial. We just got to continue to do that. Um, and we'll find better ways to, to continue to be more tactful and effective. Anyway, California Carter, signing off.